Emil Sitka, despite being a veteran American actor who made appearances in hundreds of films and TV shows, was best known for his numerous appearances alongside the Three Stooges. He held the unique claim to fame of being just one of two actors who got the chance to work with all six actors who played the iconic comedy trio, both in films and in the various other Three Stooges offerings. Harold Brower, a recurring Stooge villain, was the other. While you might not recognize Sitka's name, if you've ever seen any of the Three Stooges productions, there's a pretty good chance you've seen him perform. He made appearances in dozens of Three Stooges short films, feature films, and TV shows. Each time he'd show up, Sitka would play a different character as a literal Stooge or straight man to contrast with and help set up the Stooges' humor. Sometimes endearingly referred to as the Fourth Stooge, Emil even came pretty close to joining the trio as a bona fide stooge himself in the early 70s, when Mo was determined to keep the act going. By this point, Larry's declining health had forced him into retirement. Sadly, Mo was dealing with his own health issues, which ultimately took his life and prevented them from ever shooting the fifth set of the Three Stooges. Sitka is credited with helping get the Stooges their own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and was called in to contribute in the development of several notable Stooge books and documentaries. Until his death in 1998, Sitka regularly welcomed Three Stooges fans into his home. Before he passed away, he made sure his gravestone would bear a message that paid tribute to his decades-long tenure with the Stooges. Keep watching to learn what that heartwarming message was. Humble Beginnings Sitka was born December 22, 1914 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. He was the eldest of five born to Slovak immigrant parents, Emil and Helena Sitka. Emil's father was a coal miner who unfortunately died of the dreaded black lung when Sitka was just 12. Soon after, his mother became gravely ill and had to be hospitalized. As such, she was unable to take care of her kids. Emil's siblings were all placed into foster care, but he went off to live in a church in Pittsburgh under the care of a Catholic priest for several years. During this time, Emil became an altar boy and even planned on one day entering into the priesthood. He was given his first acting opportunity performing in the church's yearly passion play. When he was 16, he and one of his brothers traveled across the U.S. as vagrants in search of work. After a year of living the nomadic lifestyle, the two boys returned to Pittsburgh. Sitka got a job working at a local factory, but after the great St. Patrick's Day Pittsburgh flood hit in 1936, he set out to pursue his dream of becoming an actor in Hollywood. Once in Tinseltown, Sitka managed to find some affordable housing in a small acting theater. He did handiwork for the theater in exchange for rent. Eventually, he landed some minor roles. He was then given more prominent roles in theatrical productions, and eventually he was directing plays. Since the theater didn't pay, Emil got a job working as a civil engineer to pay the bills. In the evenings, he would act whenever and wherever he could. By the mid-40s, Sitka had appeared in dozens of roles, playing everything from lawyers to businessmen, construction workers to butlers. This extensive experience helped him hone his craft. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about Emil Sitka. Sitka's Big Break in 1946, Sitka found himself running his own acting troupe when he was spotted by a Columbia Pictures talent scout. After being instructed to get in touch with their short film department head Jules White, Emil was cast in a short film called Hiss and Yell. It starred Barbara Jo Allen as her signature character Vera Vague and ended up receiving an Academy Award nomination. Not long after, Sitka joined the cast of his first Three Stooges film, Half Wits Holiday, in which he played the character Sappington. The film was the last time Curly Howard would appear in a starring role as he suffered a stroke shortly after filming. Sitka was almost made a full-fledged stooge. Sitka went on to make appearances in dozens of Stooges shorts, features, and live-action segments for the new Three Stooges cartoon series, which debuted in 1965. He also got the chance to appear in shorts and feature-length films alongside stars like Lucille Ball, Red Skelton, Alan Hale, and Tony Curtis, just to name a few. But he'll be remembered most for his close association with the Stooges and his utterance of one particular repeated line, Hold hands, you lovebirds. The line originally came from the Three Stooges short, Brideless Groom. 
In January of 1970, Larry Fine suffered a major stroke during production of Kook's Tour. At the time, it was planned that Sitka would replace him as the second stooge, but nothing ever came of this. There were a few production photos taken, but that's about it. Sitka was going to portray Larry's brother, Harry. He was quoted as saying the character would be so conscientious it became ridiculous. Two full-length Three Stooges films featured him as Harry were at one point in pre-production, but sadly, the public never got a chance to see these projects. The main reasons why they were scrapped and never developed had to do with Mo falling ill and passing away before they could be filmed. Hold Hands, You Lovebirds in the 1947 Three Stooges short film Brideless Groom, Shemp Howard had to get married by 6 p.m. to inherit 500 grand. Shemp's first couple attempts at finding a suitable marriage ended with him striking out. But he eventually managed to find a girl willing to exchange marriage vows, and they rushed off to the Justice of the Peace. Sitka played the Justice. He kicked off the ceremony by instructing Shemp and his bride-to-be to, quote, hold hands, you lovebirds. Suddenly, the other girls, who had all turned down Shemp, burst into the courthouse, apparently having just learned of the hefty inheritance. A wild and raucous free-for-all then expectedly ensued in typical Stooges fashion. Sitka was struck in the face repeatedly. Each time he would try to start the ceremony again, he'd look more and more disheveled, while his instruction to hold hands you lovebirds got humorously weaker and weaker. The short received wide distribution and proved quite popular. As such, it's just one of four Stooge films that have managed to slip into the public domain. Since its initial release, it's been broadcast on local TV thousands of times. One station in Richmond, Virginia even ran it every Sunday afternoon for several years in the 80s. Sitka uttered the line once more in a cameo appearance in the 1989 horror flick Intruder. In 1994, Quentin Tarantino included a clip of the short in his film Pulp Fiction. Tarantino is a longtime fan of The Three Stooges. To pay Sitka tribute, he even included his name in the film's credits, along with the line, Hold Hands, You Lovebirds. Declining Health and Death Sitka continued to act later on in life, more so because he loved doing it than because he needed the cash. He appeared in movies and TV shows, mainly in minor roles, up until 1992, and would regularly show up at Three Stooges conventions and events right up until his final years. He was fond of his fans and would take requests to appear at their weddings to say his famous hold hands line. He was hosting a few Stooge fans in his home in June of 1987 when he suffered a massive stroke. Sadly, he never regained consciousness. One of the fans staying there was an EMT who was able to keep Sitka alive until paramedics showed up. He passed away a little under a month after his 83rd birthday on January 16, 1998. As a tribute to his many years performing alongside the Stooges, Sitka's gravestone reads, Hold hands, you lovebirds. In addition to the words, he danced all the way. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite of the Stooges? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.